Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me. This is Anat Kessler with Saturday Mix Travaganza and today I'm going to create a mixed media triple frame collage. I'm using the really cool window pane by Basically Bare. It's um it's a uh, kind of a chipboard window that has like a nice frame around it with nine windows inside. And it's really cool that we're going to build the frame around it. So for the frame, what you would need is four strips of chipboard. Uh, you have the measurements written, written on the bottom. And I'm using one of a, uh, one sixteenth of an inch uh, thickness of chipboard. I'm, this is really a good one to use because it's really strong. So this one are the shorter strips for the inner frame. For the outer frame, you will need another four strips and you have the measurements down here. And you would have to cut each strip at the end uh, at, the four, at a 45 degrees angle. So this way it will be really cool and nice to create um, the frame. Also, you have, uh, you would need three two by two um squares now for the strips i forgot to say that you have to mark them uh half of an inch from the narrower side you can see the marking that i made with uh, the pencil this is so that it will be easier later to keep everything straight so when you do, when you build your frame just put it like this and just use some tape to secure it and later we're going to add some more um, stronger bind. So here are two frames. You have a smaller frame and a bigger frame. You would need eight triangles. I just eyeballed it. I didn't even measure it. I'm sorry. Just uh, cut some uh, triangles from a very light uh, chipboard or cardstock. And I recommend to use uh, liquid glue, but you don't have to and you just glue them on top of the corner of your frame so that will really make your frame strong and secure everything in its place so you do that for both frames and this will make sure that they will stay connected and strong and they will not fall apart or something So just do all those corners with the triangles, then flip them over. And now you would have to, I'm using a hot glue gun. It's the best, I think it's the best way. It dries really fast and it's very strong. So what we're going to do is we are going to glue the smaller frame on top of the larger frame. And this is where your marking, the half of an inch marking, comes to play. So you can just line everything according to that line and that everything will be straight. So after you glued everything together and it's nice and strong, now we're going to cover it with the first coat of gesso. This will prime it for everything that's going to come much later and just cover everything with gesso make sure you go all of, all on, on all the sides and so everything will be completely covered and primed to continue and of course you will have to use your heat tool to dry everything up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to embellish all this the nice frame uh, in the same technique of collage that we did previously on a few canvases that I made basically what we'll do is collect all kinds of metal embellishments trinkets small findings flowers all kinds of small treasures that you have or I have <laughs> in my box there's a big box of these kind of treasures you all know about this I've told you about this before um, and you just uh, start adhering them to the frame filling the holes with smaller I use sometimes screws or nails or 
just small beads that I have. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two corners. And I'm using all kinds of metal findings that I have and scraps of whatever that I find in different uh, flea markets, garages, um, all kinds of scrap yards and everywhere here and there. And this way I get all kinds of fun stuff. Just make sure that you don't cover the area where your window pane is going to be later because that will be in the middle there. We're going to glue that in the middle in that window, the nine window uh, frame. So you just keep on adding your little treasures, your little embellishments. Uh, it's actually really fun. This is like a zipper part. I really this is really fun I really like doing this just gonna be a little bit closer so you guys can see and it's actually building a collage with all kinds of fun stuff and and nice texture this is like an old earring that I found at a flea market once there was just one so <laughs> this is a safety pin there's a little angel there all kinds of cogwheels and gears and keys and stuff like that um, so it's really fun assembling this this is a, a screw and I'm gonna do the other corner now some embellishments I get from Michaels or from other craft stores um, this is a really long nail that I stole from my husband well I didn't steal it; he just gave it to me <laughs> an old bottle cap all kinds of stuff like that. The, the most important thing is to use different things because they have different texture and different appearance and they will look nicer once we cover them with gesso if you remember. This is like an old bead from a, 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 a necklace that I used to have. And this is an old, very very old watch that doesn't work that I got at a flea market somewhere. I like the shape of it because it has a shape of a small heart so it's really cute so you just keep on adding those kind of cool stuff to your frame and I really like it this is like an old key and it doesn't really matter if it's rusted or not very nice because everything is going to be covered with gesso later so you will just see the shape and the texture of it, but you will not see the color because it's going to receive a whole lot of sprays later and get new color. So what you want is a nice interesting shape, a different size and texture, and it doesn't matter what color it is. It doesn't even matter what material it is because I'm using paper flowers, for example. I don't know why I like to use a lot of metal embellishments for these projects. Well, I do know it's because I really like embellish uh, metal embellishments, <laughs> but it's because they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and 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 I really like using them and it's easy and fun to go find them. And uh but here is like this no number is uh like a circle it's from wood. So you can combine whatever kind of materials you want. It doesn't have to be metal. I just like it so much. So, well, that's my that's my problem, <laughs> not yours. Here's another key. I love keys. I have a really hard time creating with keys because that means I have to let them go. <laughs> and I really like them. So, Whenever I have a chance to get some more keys at flea markets or whatever, I just buy them. I'm going to add a few more things to the bottom corner. This is where the window is going to be, but we're going to work on that too in just a minute. Don't worry about that. So just adding a few more stuff to the bottom corner. You can use old coins. You can use whatever your imagination, wherever your imagination takes you. You can go. It's good to fly on the wings of imagination. So I'm uh, gluing my 
three chipboard squares. That would mean I'm closing basically three windows, but it's okay because I want to add some stuff on them. So I'm just, this is the third one. And now I'm starting to embellish my window. This is a really nice butterfly. And the fun thing about working with this window is that it's a window, which means you can hang things and it's opened. So you can, uh, like I said, you can hang things, you can put things only on the corner. And of course, if you want to, you can add photos where the windows are and there will be small frames. So you can have nine photos or less. So this is an earring, an old clip earring. So I'm putting glue, hot glue on it. And I'm going to clip it on here like it's a ear. And it's going to be hanging from there. Isn't that cool, you guys? So you can use old jewelry. And I'm going to hang some stuff here also. So this is a really cool thing that you can do since it is a window. So this is a safety pin with a small metal watch on it that I'm going to hang as well. I really like this. This is a new Basically Bear product, so it's really fun. Um, adding some more embellishments. And I want to tell you to be really careful with the uh, hot glue gun. It's better to put the glue directly on the surface because when you do what I do and you put it on the small embellishment and it's small and then you get really burned in your hands and I cannot tell you how many burns I got of course it's worth it but it's annoying and painful <laughs> so please be careful when you're working with it and if it, it it's a, at all possible try not to burn your fingers so that's the safety tip I have for the day um, this is a like a uh, a heart that it's like from uh, it's it's a fake uh, twig but it's it's really I really like this so I'm just tying it to the window here with some twine and it's a really nice effect to have the twine wrapped around the the window like this so it's really fun. So you, like I said, you can, uh, instead of embellishing the, uh, all the, the windows, you can glue, you can add uh, photos on the back. So you will have like a, a frame for nine photos and that will be really cool instead of doing what I'm doing, which is embellishing it. So you can just put photos and add that to the frame that we did before and that will be really nice thing to, a nice piece for your wall or for your, you know, as a gift to someone with family photos. So you can, it's really fun, you guys. You can just do a lot of it, a lot of stuff with it. So now we have to cover everything with gesso. And you have to really go to all the nooks and crannies and make sure everything, everything is covered. Because if it will not be covered, the color spray will not stick to it. So just, you need a lot of patience, you guys. I'm sorry, but you need a lot of patience. It takes a while to cover everything with gesso, especially the hanging stuff, uh, but everything else. It takes time, so just be patient. Believe me, it's worth it. So here is everything covered. had to skip because it takes a long time, so I cut a little bit out so we can go a little bit faster. <laughs> Now for the frame, also we have to cover everything with gesso and sometimes it's really annoying. But you just have to, you know, be patient and do it because you want everything to really look nice later. And after you finish covering everything with gesso, you have to really, really, really dry it with your heat tool very thoroughly. Make sure everything is completely 
completely dry. Now uh, I'm going to adhere my window to my frame using a, glue, uh, a hot glue gun. Using hot glue, it's will make it stick really, really well. So you just do this. Make sure everything is as straight as possible. Uh, hot glue dries really quickly, especially when it's winter and it's a bit cold. So just do it fast. And now the spraying begins. The fun part is just just started to spray everything. Um, and if you remember the last time that we did this, you have to spray one coat, dry it really well with your heat tool, and then spray again and dry it and spray and dry. And this is like a cycle. But if you don't want the colors of the spray to mix, you would have to dry each layer that you spray. Otherwise, you will get a blur of all the colors. You see? This way, each color, when, when you spray on a dry surface, then the color shows. But if it's not dry, then it mixes together and you can't see anything. So that's really annoying. So you just keep on spraying until you're happy with the result. And then for my final touch, I'm going to just distress the edges a little bit with the Photo Vintage Distress ink. Just gives it a little bit more definition. It is a frame after all, so you want everything to be really nice and framed. So this is my frame. I hope you liked it. And I want to thank you again for joining me and watching this. And I hope you would do this and create something like this because it's a really cool project. And I hope you were inspired a little bit. And um, thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, maybe I'll show you this a little bit closer so you can see all the effects of the colors and... Uh, everything you see all the texture and all the shapes of all the embellishments this is the look that we were going for so i'm happy it turned out really cool and there's the earring hanging and all the other embellishments hanging from the window remember you can add photos instead so you guys have a great week have a great weekend uh, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you all next time. Bye.